A person will ask you, is it, is it going to do anything with my salvation? I can dress like this, I can do this, I can speak like this and all those things. Now I did the 30 second prayer. Someday when I was feeling guilty. And that now qualifies a person to go live the way they want. Against the laws of God. Against the laws of, I'm not under the law. Oh wow. Oh wow. Amen. Amen. Then live the way they want because there's grace. I'm not under the law. What type of grace is this grace? What type of grace is this grace that is not telling you to stop? What kind of grace is that? What grace is this one? That does not tell you to stop. Amen. That does not tell you to stop burning what, 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 what. Amen. That does not tell you to stop the life that you're living. Grace is supposed to draw you closer to Christ. Grace is supposed to draw you closer to Christ. It's supposed to make you cry when you think of His goodness, His mercy, when you consider where and what you would be. How dead you'd be physically and spiritually. Amen. But now that you are alive, grace is supposed to do that. It's supposed to make you love Him more. Honor Him more. Seek Him more. Bow to Him more. Say, Lord, if it means I must crawl every day. If, if I must be black here. But today's grace is very different. People go clubbing. People go slaughtering things. Amen. Calling themselves Christians. People come and be witch people. Calling themselves Christians. Practicing witchcraft. Calling themselves Christians. And when you speak, they are under grace. What type of, what, whose grace? Because that's not the grace that comes from the Lord Jesus Christ. It is not. It is not. It's something else. It's another form. But it's not Christ-like and it's not from Christ. Can we just tell the truth once in a while?